you're sitting at home or in your garage or on a plane or a layover and you're writing a song. And for a lot of these people, maybe it was a song that they wrote when they were 17, 18 years old. And one day you're playing it in a stadium or in front of thousands of people at a festival and they're singing your song. That's a godlike moment. So you said you've had a few of those moments. I know for sure there's one that shoots right to the front of your brain. What moment was that for you where you were just completely in awe, where you were in that zone where it was almost surreal for you to be on stage? I think it would have to be this wonderful festival in Southern Ontario, this Boots and Hearts uh, festival. Um, and probably the first time I played that, I mean, that festival was, the first time I played it was in 2013. So my song, They Don't Make Them Like That Anymore, was a big hit for me, a big career song in 2012. And that was one of the first really, really big shows of the next summer. So I, I had been, you know, living here in Nashville and, and I knew that they that it had done well on the radio back in Canada. And, 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 uh, and I had even won an, an award for it, but I hadn't done... Funny enough, I hadn't done a lot of shows, not to crowds that big. Like, uh, that was one of the biggest of my life. There was there was some 20,000 people that year. Uh, and, and I had a great time slot on stage. And at some point, the, the crowd just took over singing the, the last course of the song. And it just got me emotional and it just hit me like, 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 uh, like I'm sure it hits Garth Brooks every single night, yeah. night after night after night, uh, you know. But it was, but for me, that was the first time that that had really happened to that extent. When you heard that many human hearts singing the song back to you, and it just was a real powerful thing, super validating. I was just happy that it meant something to them because it was a song that I wrote, you know, uh, you know, kind of about and for my family 